guys so today's video is going to be simple I'm going to show you how fast you can create a low content book cover on Canva for free so we're going to target making a gratitude journal uh, it's going to be 150 pages so we first need to determine how uh, wide the book is going to be or the, uh, the dimensions for the cover so what we do we go over to KDP I already have it down here book cover template and it's free so you go to the calculator it says okay select the type we're going to do a paperback the interior is going to be black and white we are doing white paper it's going to be left to right measurement units is inches and the trim for gratitude journal they're usually eight and a half by eleven if you're doing some of the actual smaller journals uh memory uh, journals uh diet tracking different things like that they may be a six by nine but for this gratitude journal we're going to say eight and a half by eleven and we're going to make it 150 pages so this is what our cover will look like as far as the dimensions it tells you what they are up here even the spine area so what you're going to do is you're going to take these dimensions right here and you're going to take those over to canva so 17.588 by 11.25 so over here custom size 11.588 up oh, got to change it to inches first 11.588 by 11.25 let me make sure I got that right. 17.588. 17.588. That's why you always go back and check. So 17.588, 11.25. Create the cover design. All right. So this is what it's telling me my cover is going to look like. Now, if you want to make sure you don't go outside of the lines on where it's going to cut it to actually make your cover you want to download this template and it's on the same thing that you just saw here where it said calculate dimensions then I downloaded the template go to wherever you downloaded it have it right here it's going to be a zip file now, one of the things that I ran into when I created uh, a zip file previously is that it does not put the end the PNG, even though it is a PNG file, it doesn't show that here as far as the ending. And with that being said, when I tried to upload it to Canva, it gave me an error. So what I do is I pull it out of the zip file, I pull it to my desktop, and then I rename it and all I do is just add .png on the end. If you do not do that, you probably will get an error when you try to upload it to Canva. So now let's go over here. We're going to upload it. This is the upload and you'll see where I have uploaded other templates. We're going to upload this one. It is on my desktop is this one. And it's bringing it up now and the purpose of this is so that you understand what your borders are if you go into your border and you have writing it's possible that it could be cut off so this kind of lets you know what you're dealing with all right so now we got our template up here some people say that it gets in the way when they're trying to do it. So if you highlight it and all you gotta do is click it, go to transparency. You can bring the transparency down so you can actually see. So simple thing, gratitude journal. We'll say it's for a woman. Um, one thing that I see that sells very well is flowers. So if we go over here, um, I like this one and you see how it just brought it over so now that you have this let us let's see I want to put a border uh, on mine or a frame so 
Let me bring this down some. And back over here with your, just so you can see how this looks. And you can see it right there. So you know where your, your dimensions and things are at. I always like to bring in a, let's see if this one, I like to put a spine on mine. Even though I'm not going to write anything on the spine, I like to bring it in because it gives it another, um, another dimension when you're looking at it and it's not so plain. And you can see the color of it is... It takes one of these colors. So if you look over here, this is my background. These are all the colors in that background. So you can determine, do you want a, a darker green? Do you want to stay with that particular green? I actually like both of them. And so I'm going to use that green for my spine. And it's just a visual thing. And as you are moving this around you can see how those um, lines line up for you that lets you know where you where your position at am I in the middle from the top to the bottom and when you see it like that it shows you it crosses up on everything okay so we got that now one of the things that I do want to do is I don't need that anymore because one I'm not going all the way to the uh, to the edges with my words. Now I want to put something over here. So I like these frames. I've used this before. And keep it in the middle. And I think that's neat. I don't like that color, but same thing the way you do the other ones. You go up here, click on it, and then it's like, what color do you want it to be? Do you want it darker? I actually like that. And all of these are things that I've used uh, recently. Different flowers. Bring this in, and this I'm going to actually, let's see, that's not bad, that's a nice color, and text. I use heading because it's the larger size, I do bring it down in size though, and let's just do daily gratitude journal and we'll bring it over here let's see um, okay bigger it does not want me to highlight everything but we're going to get it all right ah It is being difficult. Undo, undo. Alright. And I think I want a different type of element. I like the rounded colors. Let's just put shapes in. And one of the things you want to make sure you're doing when you are um, utilizing Canva is if you do not have a subscription, some of these uh, can cost. 
And so I make sure, now I, I do have a subscription, so uh, it's all free, you know, to me. But if you do not have one, it will show you, and uh, let me bring this in, and then I'll show you how you can tell. So over here under elements or any of the things, um, let's just go on graphics. You see this little crown where it says pro? That lets you know that it's a charge for that particular graphic. Now, none of the ones, all of these say pro. This one doesn't, that one doesn't. But you'll know when you uh, sign on to it. So this is what we have as the cover, and I actually like it. The only other thing I may end up doing is um, maybe doing a border all the way around, but that's where you got to be careful with um, the uh, when it when it actually is time to make the book, and they have to trim the edges. You could have certain things that that gets trimmed off. So I think this is pretty good. I mean, for as fast as we did it, but this is how quick it can be to make a cover on Canva, and this one is for free. There was no cost for anything that we use, and it's pretty simple. And if you want to judge it by looking at other things, like let's go to Amazon, and we can just do a quick look for gratitude journal. Gratitude. Okay, gratitude journal. And we can look at some of the things that they have. Like here's one. I think ours is a lot brighter, you know, than this one. Not saying that it's better because we haven't done the inside yet. We're just basing it off of the cover. Look at this one, this daily gratitude journal. So look at these compared to what we just did. And I think it's pretty good. So to actually take this one, what you would do is... You would go to download and you would select PDF file, high quality, multi-page document, PDF print. And then you just download it to whatever folder that you want to save it, you know, save it in. And I'll save it here. And that's it. That's all you have to do to create a cover on Canva for free. Um, I think you get a lot more options of different graphics and things if you get the paid, you know, subscription, but you don't need to. If you want to get into a, um, an actual side hustle where you can make money without investing any money, the only investment is your time and your creativity that you're, you know, utilizing, this is a way to go. And once your books, you know, get posted, you don't have to do anything else. The money will just continue to come in as long as people are purchasing your book. So this was a quick video on how to create a cover for your low content book or any type of book that you're doing. You would do the same thing. Just figure out what your dimensions are and then play around with it until you get a cover that you like, you know, the way that it looks. Our next video is going to be about the interior of the book. How do you make the interior for a gratitude journal or any low content book that you're doing? So tune in for our next video. Make sure you subscribe to this one. Hopefully we can teach you some new things on how to make some passive income. Thank you for joining Mind Your Book.